Hello everybody, welcome to Fabulous Pizza. You probably know that there is a traditional cheese we use to make pizza, that is mozzarella. There are several alternatives on the market. I wanted to try those that seem the most common to me, at least where I do my shopping usually. So let's move to my table and see how they work. Okay, let's see what kind of cheese I can put on my pizza. As I've just said, the traditional kind of cheese is mozzarella. Here it is. This is how a fresh mozzarella looks. Um, inside it's uh, milky, milky water. It's pretty moist. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you are familiar somehow. This kind of cheese is really watery. So once you uh, cut it, if you put it straight away on top of your pizza, you will get the pool effect in the middle of the, the pizza. So this is why you need to drain it. What I usually do is uh, cutting it in small, small sticks. Even the, the previous day, I let it drain in a, in a sieve, for example. So the day after, it's kind of dry and it will not leave all its watery moisture on top of my pizza. There is also the first mozzarella alternative I found, and I think it's uh, very common. I see it basically everywhere I go. Uh, this is grated mozzarella. They also call it shredded mozzarella. Now, first of all, uh, I would argue this is not really mozzarella because it's looks very uh, dry to me so I am doubtful by the way the uh, real problem for me all of these pieces are very thin so I would treat it differently to avoid any overcooking and finally there is another pizza cheese I found this block <laughs> looks like a brick and it doesn't look like I mean it looks like regular cheddar to me that is pretty common here in London where I live uh, so for me the only way to use it will be to grate it okay now I have three different choices for my pizza this is the fresh mozzarella I made the little sticks uh, I was telling you about this is the grated mozzarella and this is the one I grated myself as you can see also the, the color is pretty different this is the fresh mozzarella is pretty white compared to the, 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 the other pizza cheese I bought. You can see the contrast quite easily, I think. By the way, I will make now three small pizzas. Uh, each one will have a different cheese and we will try and figure out the differences. I have here three mini doubles. I will stretch three pizzettas with a little bit of flour. Three pizzette are ready. I will make three small margarita. Well, well, now I need to figure out a way to... Okay, so let's say... Yeah, I will put the regular fresh mozzarella here. It's not easy to make small, small pizzas when you are used to something different. I will use the grated mozzarella here. And I will use the cheese, the pizza cheese I grated myself on top of this other Pizzetta. Now I'm doing this for the sake of a comparison because as I said this grated mozzarella is pretty thin so uh, it would uh, probably be overcooked 
at the end of the baking round. More or less same for this cheese since it's, it's very uh, thin. Um, by the way, I, I don't never use this cheese, I don't know how it will react. My regular mozzarella should be just as usual. Our pizzette are now ready. So this is the one with the um, grated mozzarella. This is the one with the one I grated myself. And this is the one with the fresh mozzarella. I can only give you an idea of how they look. I cannot tell you taste-wise how they will be. Um, I want you to notice that uh, the grated, oh, oh, oh it's hot. The grated mozzarella uh, became became a little bit blistered here. This brownish spot means it started to, to burn a little bit. And um, I mean, the visual effect is not that good. This is completely different. It can it almost disappear. Here probably I put a little bit less and it really disappeared while the pizzetta with fresh mozzarella looked to me uh, better. It's not my best looking one, but it still looks better than the other two. Taste-wise, I cannot really tell you anything because everybody prefers a different flavor, of course. You know, it's easy for me to stick to my traditions and prefer, of course, the fresh mozzarella. The original recipe exists for a reason. However, I will invite you to try the other cheaper alternatives and see if they are for you.